Hi, my name is Chris Luger. I'm one of the systems engineers here at Jamf Software. Over the next several minutes, we're going to be looking at OS X and iOS management using the Casper Suite, the best of breed management solution for the Apple platform. Let's take a look. So what is the Casper Suite? It starts with the JSS, the Jamf Software Server. That's the management server component. It also includes a suite of applications that run natively in Mac OS X. These applications are used for building packages for deployment, remote access to client machines, imaging, as well as enrollment. It also includes applications for the end user, such as Casper Focus and Self Service. All of these together make up the Casper suite. Now, there are many ways to bring Macs and iOS devices under management. We can leverage Apple's own DEP or Device Enrollment Program, bringing Macs and iOS devices under management right out of the box. We also have our standalone tool called Recon. This native OS X application can be used for local and remote enrollment of clients on your network. We can also scan an area of a network based on IP range, bringing dozens or hundreds of Macs under management at the same time. We can also do user-initiated web-based enrollment. Pointing users to a URL very similar to this, they can log in with their existing credentials, such as their email and password. You can use your own domain, so you could, for example, point users to a URL such as jss.mycompany.com to bring those machines under management. Once machines are enrolled, we capture a rich inventory, both for iOS and OS X. You can see here, this is my iPad mini, capturing detailed general information, specific hardware information, as well as user and location data that can be pre-populated from a directory service, such as Open Directory or Active Directory. With OS X, we can capture everything from detailed hardware information, specific OS versions and build number for that piece of hardware, as well as user and location data. Now, once machines are managed and we capture this inventory, we can intelligently group them to make managing them that much easier. While not required, we absolutely can leverage your existing users and groups from a directory service, but we also can use something called smart computer groups. Smart groups are groups of machines or devices that are dynamically populated based on search criteria. You can see here, I have a handful of groups I've created using search criteria. I have the number of Macs that belong to each group, and of course I can have Macs belong to multiple groups. Now once we have machines managed and they're grouped, we can now provide management tasks. For OS X and iOS, we can provide something called configuration profiles. These are settings or groups of settings that can be deployed instantly to those clients, silently and over the air. You can deploy things like email configuration for your organization, passcode and security requirements, as well as connectivity to your corporate network, for example. For OS X, we can go a step further, providing something called a policy. A policy is like a remote management task that you want to provide for your client, groups of clients, or users in your organization. I can do things like deploy packages. And again, a package can be software, third-party software, an update, upgrade, or even documents, files, or settings. You can see here, I'm deploying the Firefox update. We can also do things like execute software updates, deploy pre-configured OS X printers, and ensure these machines are encrypted using File Vault 2 encryption. We also can leverage Apple's own VPP, or Volume Purchase Program, to deploy apps from the Mac App Store and the iOS App Store. The great thing about leveraging the Volume Purchase Program with managed distribution is that the organization can retain ownership of the apps. You can deploy apps to users, and then if that user leaves the organization or doesn't need the app anymore, you can reassign that app to a new user while you retain ownership of the app. You can see here, I have a handful of applications that I can publish and deploy to the users within my organization. Now, everything that we've seen here can happen automatically and silently to those clients that are being managed. We also can provide management via something called self-service. This here is the native OS X self-service application. It can be automatically installed upon enrollment. We also can automatically launch the application after enrollment is complete. This gives the end user the ability to install software, run maintenance tasks, also gets access to documents, files, or resources they need to be productive or successful in their environment. As an end user, I can get more information about a piece of software. You can make this as detailed as you'd like for the end user. An end user can actually click install and install this software right here, right now on their own machine. 
and they can even do this as a standard user. So even if they're a non-admin on their machine. It's also a great way to provide maintenance tasks or tier zero support to the end user. They can actually service their own machine. For instance, here I have a category called help tools. An end user can come in and do things like flush caches, fix permissions, run an update, restart their machine. Rather than placing an IT help desk ticket, they can actually service their own machine. We also can use self-service to provide access to documents, files, and resources. You can see here I have a category called books. It's a great way to provide documentation, documents, files, PDFs, sales and marketing material, training guides, onboarding. It's a great resource for your end users. This was a brief overview of the Casper suite. I encourage you to schedule a more in-depth demo. Thank you for your time.